What is up guys, in this video we're going to be going over how we can create a date picker and a time picker in React Native. So it's going to look like this and first we're going to click on the date picker. It's going to get today's current date, so we are on the 13th and we can pick any date we want. And just to demonstrate, I'll go to 2019 and I'll go to, let's say, March the 14th and click on OK. Then it's also going to get the current time and we're going to go ahead and pick on the time picker so we can change that to a more specific time such as 23 and 2355. So now we've got the 14th of March 2019 with hours set to 23 and minutes to 55. And as you may have noticed, this is in Italian and it's going to change depending on your phone's default language. So We'll just close that and we can get started immediately with a new empty project. So the first thing we want to do inside our project is go ahead and type in sudo yarn add and then we want to add the at symbol react native community slash date time picker. And I'm going to include that in the description down below so you can just copy and paste that. Then we can go ahead and close the terminal and get started in our project. So first from React, we want to import use state. Then we want to import style sheet, text, view, button, platform, and that's all we need there. Then we can go ahead and import date time picker from at React Native Community date time picker. Now the first thing we have to do is create a lot of states. So for example, one that will handle the date, so set date, and that's going to equal a use date, which is just going to initialize a new date, which is today's date. So new date and close that. Then we want to create a mode because we need to change between the time mode and the date mode. So mode, set mode, and that's going to equal use date, which will have a default value of date mode. Next, we want to create a Boolean, which will tell us whether we want to show the box or not. So set show, and that's going to equal use state set to false initially. Otherwise, the date picker or time picker will just pop up immediately. Next, we want to have a constant text so we can set the text, and that's going to equal a use state, which will initially be set to empty. Right below that, we're going to get started with creating a function, which is going to be called show mode to change between the modes. And that's going to equal an arrow function, which is going to take current mode as an argument. And inside here, we're just going to set show to true and set the mode to the current mode. Then above this function, we're going to go ahead and create a constant on change function, which will handle what happens when we change the date. So first it's going to take an event and we have to add a selected date, which will be an arrow function and we'll open this block. So we're gonna create a constant inside here, which is called current date. And that's it's going to equal, if there is a selected date, the selected date. Otherwise it's going to equal the initial date, which we created in set state. And we're also going to set show if the platform dot OS is equal to iOS. And we also want to set the date to the current date. Next, we're going to create a variable called temp date, which is a temporary date. And that's going to equal a new date with the current date inserted. And with that, we can also create a formatted date. So F date is going to equal the temp date dot get date. Plus, we want to add this slash plus temp date dot get month which starts at the index of zero. So remember to add a one to it, plus a slash, plus temp date, get full year. And that's going to get our full date. Now under that, we're going to get a formatted time. So let formatted time equal hours, plus temp date dot get hours, plus a pipeline followed by minutes, plus temp date dot get minutes. And now we're going to go ahead and set the text to what we have over here. So we're going to set it to F date plus a backslash for a new line plus the F time. And right below that, we can go ahead and console.log all of this so we can make sure that everything's working correctly. And I'm just going to insert inside here the F date plus the F time. 
So that will be used for debugging later. Now all we have to do is go to our view and change it to a couple of buttons, which allow us to change everything. But the first one we will change is the text field. We're just going to insert text, click on save, and it should say empty. Then inside here, we'll provide a style, which is going to equal first the font weight, which will be set to bold and a font size, which will be set to 20. Next, we're going to create another view. And then we have to create another style, which is going to just include a margin of 20. Because inside here, we're going to insert a button. And as you may know, customizing a button is quite useless. It does not give us any flexibility with customization. So the container is going to be where we give it the margin. So it's going to have a title, which is going to be called date picker and an on press method, which will first be an empty arrow function, followed by setting the show mode to date. Next, we're going to copy and paste this right under and it's going to be called time picker. And we want to change this to time. Next, we want to create a condition that has to be met for it to actually show the time picker. Cause right now I believe if we click on it, nothing will happen. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and first type in show, which is our Boolean. And if there is this button date time picker, and to actually make this easier to read, we will move the date time picker down here. We're going to give it a test ID, which is going to equal date time picker, a value, which is going to be set to the initial date, which is right now, today. It's going to have a mode, which is going to be the mode we select, such as time and date mode. And is 24 hour is going to be set to true or false, depending on what you prefer. We're going to set the display to default and it needs an on change method, which is just going to be the on change method we have created. Now let's go ahead and test the app. So we'll click on the date picker and it's going to open this. We can pick a different year if we want. Let's go 2024, the 31st of July. And it's going to insert it up here with the latest time that is right now. Now we can of course change that as well. So let's change it to 2130. And it's going to appear down here. And I believe that's actually all I wanted to show you in this date picker and time picker tutorial. I'm going to also leave a link to the documentation in the description down below. So of course there are some more things you can customize, whether you are on iOS or on Android, but I think for the basics, this should cover the main purpose on how to create a date picker or a time picker. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.